you're looking to copy trade using Binance platform, we'll go over exactly how it works, how to navigate the system, how to actually go ahead and copy, and then some of the risk and other things you should be thinking about if you actually want to go ahead with this. So guys, Binance Future is not available for some other countries, but I'm going to go ahead and leave this link below. You could join Binance now by signing up with the link provided in the description box below to claim up to 100 USDT, limited time, trading fee credit reward. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about on how you could go ahead and copy trade in Binance. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So what you are looking right now is Binance Future. So if we go ahead and click Binance Future right here and we could go ahead and see the copy trading option, just go ahead and click on that and you will be presented with this option right here. Now take note again, this option will not be available for some other countries. So as we go over right here into portfolio list, we could go ahead and see some things that we want to go ahead and see. We could go ahead and see the history of these traders the loss they are taking, and the drawbacks that they are making. We can go ahead and change the first option right here which is at 7 days which means all of this performance right here is just recorded using the 7 day period and if we go ahead and change this into a 30 day which means 1 month we could go ahead and see the performance of each trader within the 1 month period. But to go ahead and review each trader more, let's just go ahead and select the 90 day period because this will show you the most information that you need. You want to gather as much as information because for example their history is not good, you may not want to copy that because you may lose money but if their history is doing pretty well, you could just go ahead and copy the trader because of that history. So as you can see right here, we could go ahead and choose from these options and for the first one we have PNL which is profit and losses. We could go ahead and see for this first user right here, he has over the 90 day period of PNL of 217,000 which is incredibly good for a portfolio and as we can see right here, the 90 day ROI which is return of investment is at 69.06%. .06%. You could also go ahead and like this users by clicking on the star icon right here and it will be added to your favorites so you could go ahead and access them easily later on towards your venture so as you can see right here the more profitable traders is what you want to go ahead and look at and as I suggest earlier just go for the longest frame time because you want to be earning money on a longer time frame because someone can get to the top by using 7 days they could get really lucky with their trades and their profile will be posted right here so my best advice for you is just to go ahead and go for the 90 day period to make sure this type of traders are here for the long term not just having some luck and speaking of luck we can go ahead and see right here the 90 day ROI of this user is below 58.44% which is not really good for our situation so I suggest to not copy this type of traders so just go ahead and minimize your risk by reviewing this type of traders and for the next one right here if we go ahead and click this is basically ROI you could go ahead and review the same thing by clicking on that option right there and for the third one right here this is maximum drawdown so what maximum drawdown is is if they have a losing trade for example they have a losing trade of over $1,000 and the maximum drawback of that trade is just below $300 so what that means is if you go ahead and trade for $1,000 the possible maximum drawback that you could go ahead and have is just below $300 so just go ahead and review this once again to make sure you're not making major losses to your portfolio what I suggest is to go for profiles that are making decent profit but are not making major drawbacks. Because if they are having major drawbacks, what kind of risk they are making and are they being safe with their trade? So obviously you have to keep that in mind. And for the next one, we have assets under management. So you could go ahead and see the assets that's being managed by the user right here which is currently at $4 million. You could also go ahead and click on the full option right here. What this will do is if someone gets out of this copy trading, you will be able to get in as soon as possible that someone gets out. 
And for the second one right here, the assets that's being managed by this user is just under 2 million and this goes out for the rest of the users right here. And now that you know how to navigate this feature, we can now go ahead and click on these users to get on the full details. So if we go ahead and click banana of coin right here. We will be presented with this page right here. We will be able to know maybe if they are more of a long-term trader, if they are a day trader, if they are, you know, trying to scalp trades, we could see all of that. And that's going to tell us a lot about of what they're doing. As we can see right here, as we can see right here, as we can see right here, if we go ahead and click on the arrow right here, we could see the... As you can see right here, if we go ahead and click the arrow, we could go ahead and see more of the profile information about Banama of Coin. Fixed amount will dangerous low compound interest player with an order entry capital of 400 USDT. It is recommended to follow the order of a fixed ratio. The current order threshold is 5000 USDT. The threshold will be increased later. And as if we go ahead and scroll down, you could go ahead and see the day's trading right here, the current copy traders that are copying this user, the total of the copy traders, the leading margin balance, the assets under management, and the copy trader PNL. So keep the copy traders PNL in mind because this will vary widely from user to user. So you have to review this thoroughly. As we can go ahead and see the performance of this trader right here, the 7 day, 30 day, and 90 day. Once again, let's go ahead and choose the 90 day right here. And for the 90 days performance, we could go ahead and see the ROI of over 67.97% with the profit and loss of $213,000. We could go ahead and see the profit sharing right here, the drawbacks of 10.70% which is not bad, the win rate of 83.53%, the number of profitable positions, and the total number of positions. So let's just go ahead and scroll a little and we could go ahead and see the positions that this user is currently at. So what this means is that this user right here is currently at this trade right now. So most likely people are copying this trade that the position of this user is currently at. As you go ahead and browse the second option right here which is the position history, we could go ahead and see more about the position of this user that are making. So if you go ahead and see the first one right here which is at ANT USD, we opened at November 17, 2326 and he closed about a day later and we could go ahead and see the total profit of this user made which is at $345. So to actually go ahead and copy this user just go ahead and scroll all the way to the top and you will be able to see this copy right here and you could also go ahead and chat this user by clicking on the chat option right here. So let's just go ahead and click on copy and you also have to make sure you have your futures account. So we have two options right here which is fixed amount and fixed ratio. So let's talk about the first one right here which is each order will be opened at a fixed margin amount. Let's just say the trader opens a trade. You can say every trade that they open, I want to open a trade with a specific dollar in my account. So if they open one trade with a $1,000 or whatever, you can say I just want to open each trade with 50 bucks. So it doesn't matter if they're trading $1,000 or $500,000, your trade is exactly the same, maybe it's $1,000 per trade or whatever. Fixed ratio is opening trades in the relation that they open trades in their account. So again, it's not the exact amount that you're copying. But as an example, if they have $1,000 in their account and they open a position in Bitcoin and that position is around 10% of their trading account, you may copy that for you know. You may not have the same amount of money that they have but it's going to open 10% of the account that you have so if they open a trade with 30% of their account, 30% of your account will be traded as well. So you're trading with the same percentage that they're trading so which one should you choose? It really depends you know. With fixed amount, it's very simple. You know exactly how much you're copying each time. And for the fixed ratio, this could lead to different margin requirements for you. 
because they have different margin requirements they have different amount of money so i would be careful with it so fixed ratio may be a bit safer to go because they're opening 20 percent of their account or they can be opening 50 percent of their account so you may be reducing risk a little bit because you know exactly how much percentage they're opening and again you can join binance now by signing up with the link provided in the description box below to claim up to 100 usdt limited time trading fee credit reward so guys thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful for you please consider by liking and subscribing i'll make sure to see you again next time thank you